It's that magical time again, time for another episode of Gear Up with PEG. Ryan here, Jeffrey over there, and today's episode brought to you by the color red. And that's because we've got our red camera sitting right here. Now, pretty crazy because looking at this, I think I have a toaster at home that's bigger than it, but it's one of the most powerful cameras on the market, right Jeffrey? Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't toast though. It's a disappointment. Um, yeah, this has easily become our favorite camera here at PEG. So this is our RED camera. Um, what that means is it's manufactured by RED Digital Cinema. That's a really good name in the uh, camera world. Basically, the beautiful thing about this is it shoots to RAW. It can be built up as small as, I mean, this is just about as small as you can get a camera nowadays. And it is of such quality that it's the same camera system that they use to shoot major motion pictures like Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, all in a package that's small enough for us to take on a corporate shoot and to use locally here in Akron, Ohio. So let's back up a little bit there. You say that it shoots to RAW. For those that maybe aren't familiar, what is RAW and why does that matter? Sure. So when you shoot on something traditionally, uh, whether it be a cell phone or even until a few years back, a very high-end camera, uh, that's going to shoot what's essentially the uh, easiest thing of like as a baked-in file. Um, you set this is my iris level, this is my white balance, all these specifications, and they get baked into the file. You can tweak them little in post, but not a lot, and you're kind of guessing. Uh, with RAW, you're just capturing the RAW data. So, for example, um, if we shot something and we said, ooh, uh, we really want to go through and change the white balance of it, for example, you know, what color white and make it look all beautiful. Um, we can go through and specify, hey, even though we have five shots and they're all shot slightly differently in different settings, uh, we can skew those individually to different white balance levels all in post. That gives us just a lot of flexibility on the editing, and that's something you just see nowadays as like a standard feature in really high-end cinema cameras. With the red, sure. just limiting yourself to one, Jeffrey, what is your favorite nerdy fact or stat about the red that shows how powerful it is? Something that I can say we've used definitely the most of it is its 5K capability. People get 4K TVs right now. Those are becoming the standard. Still kind of aren't yet. Uh, this shoots beyond the standard. So for instance, um, I can think of several projects we've worked on where we'll shoot something in 5K, even though the client doesn't necessarily need it in 5K. And afterwards they say, hey, that shot's great. We'd really love if we could focus a little more on one specific thing in a shot. Whereas on another camera system that shoots, for instance, to 1080p and in your final video is 1080p, if you want to zoom in on that, that's kind of a problem because you're going to lose a lot of quality when you start to artificially zoom in. That's when it's going to become pixelated, not look great. With something like this, because we're actually shooting way bigger than what we actually need to deliver, we can go ahead and crop in and lose zero quality. Now, what's got to be one of the coolest things, too, is that this is still a, a pretty new camera in terms of when it's being shipped by RED. There, there can't be many of these out there throughout the country, I would imagine, right? No, there's not. Um, I mean, one of the things about RED is they're notoriously hard to get, and frankly, you don't see them a lot in smaller markets like Ohio compared to something like Los Angeles. It's a really fun toy and one we're really lucky to have here at PEG. You want top quality video. There, there's not much better out there than this guy to deliver it to you. For more on all the gear that we have, you can check out the gear page on what website, Jeffrey? Mm, I have many favorites, but I would say definitely my top is still printentertainmentgroup.com. That is a great place to go look for. You can also find them on our YouTube and Vimeo channels, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You name it on the internet, we're there. This has been Gear Up with PEG. Keep looking out for more. We'll always be telling you about the newest gear we have. But for now, that's Jeffrey. I'm Ryan. See you later.